Even though the Muslim ban has Trump's name on it, once again, it turns out he didn't really build it himself. It was Bannon's baby, which shouldn't surprise anyone. It's in his name, people. <laughs> Bannon. <laughs> ban on Muslims. Open your eyes, people! <laughs> the clues are everywhere! <laughs> the whole name is a clue! <laughs> Bannon, ban on Muslims! <laughs> what about his name, Steve? You can't spell, spell Steve without Eve. Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden, eat in. Steve Bannon is gonna order takeout tonight. We have to stop him. <laughs> Maybe I got carried away, but still, Bannon, Bannon. Anyway, not only was Bannon behind the Muslim ban, he's reportedly the person who told immigration to ban visa and green card holders as well, which aside from being legally dubious, is just a huge dick move. <laughs> you realize some of these people have lived in America for decades. This is their home. Imagine leaving your home to visit your family, and then when you get back, Steve Bannon won't let you in. <laughs> and you're there like, but I live here! And Bannon's like, well, I say you don't. Also, I clogged your toilets. <laughs> but you see, making immigration policy wasn't enough power for Steve Bannon. So he went ahead and gave himself more power on the DL. White House chief strategist Steve Bannon has been given a security clearance usually held by generals as the result of an executive order signed by President Trump. According to the Times, President Trump did not know the contents of one of the executive orders he was signing. He didn't know that he was putting Steve Bannon, giving him a permanent seat on the National Security Council. How is this real life? This is insane. The president didn't know what was in the executive order. And also, this is crazy. Bannon slipped himself onto the National Security Council. He basically did it like a kid sneaks a candy bar into his mom's shopping cart, just like, you know? <laughs> That's why everyone recognizes that Steve Bannon is the real power behind the throne here. Everyone realizes, even the dishonest media. President Trump's chief strategist appears on the cover of this week's Time magazine, accompanied by the title, The Great Manipulator. Oh, that's a... sort of a bittersweet milestone for Steve Bannon. I mean, on the one hand, he's on the cover of Time magazine. On the other hand, He's on the cover with this photo. <laughs> I mean, like, the face, what's going on with the, like, the, like, I mean, that's, like, a professional... Uh, no, I'm not, it's just, like, the man looks like a satellite image of a storm on Jupiter, <laughs> like, it's just... Yeah, anyway. By the way, what, what kind of shadowy manipulator goes on the cover of a magazine to announce that he's a shadowy manipulator? <laughs> kind of blowing up your spot, isn't it, yeah? It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz posing on a cover with the headline, it's just some dude. <laughs> Why, why would you do that? Ego. Seriously, everyone is trying to figure out whether Bannon or Trump is in charge. Look at this Time magazine cover. Again, it's just, it's astounding that this soon into a new administration, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe Bannon's calling all the shots. Now, if that wasn't true, then a certain cable news fan wouldn't have felt the need, less than an hour later, to tweet I called my own shots, <laughs> largely based on an accumulation of data, and everyone knows it. <laughs> largely based on an accumulation of data? Come on, man. <laughs> Trump and data have less of a relationship than Trump and Tiffany. Come on. <laughs> what do you, like, come on, come on. <laughs> but Trump's defensiveness is telling. It shows that even he realizes he needs to prove he's in control. And maybe someday he will be. But for now, Let's congratulate Steve Bannon. As of this moment, you are the real president. The American people didn't elect you, but then again, they kind of didn't elect Trump either. <laughs> we'll be right back.